Okay, welcome back everyone. It's been a minute since I've had a tackle talk. Fortunately, Buck O'Muro uh, filled the gap for me on that one. So, um, I'm going to pull one out of Glenn McDonald for 54 Bus Playbook here and just do uh, kind of what's in the box. Um, I kind of already opened it because these UPS ones are kind of a pain, but uh, we'll check out what's inside of it. I have a good idea of what's going on inside of it, but uh, I know Bucko always includes a few surprises. So let's pull it out. Let's check it out. See what we got. First bait on the docket. Got ourselves a standard size flap tail. Had a lot of success with flap tail. We'll include a clip here of a big muskie that I caught on a flap tail. Insane top water strike. Just a lot of fun. Um, these baits can be really effective if fished correctly. The thing is, slow and steady wins the race. Really good holographic finish on that. Really impressed. Good job tying that uh, feather on there, Bucko. Uh, there's going to be a lot of noise made by this guy. Just, yeah. The other cool thing that I noticed too, um, you know, if, if someone would desire or I desire, I could easily switch out that fringe blade for something else. Um, if I wanted a size 8 Colorado or a fluted blade, it would be very easy to change that out. So, uh, yeah, first one there is the, just a standard flap tail. Moving on, moving on. Another, uh, another bait here. Okay, well, I was not expecting that. We've got a mini flap. I, wow, this is, this is cool. I was not expecting a mini flap tail. This is like a four inch, three and a half inch profile. Just absolutely money. I mean, this thing will be very user friendly, very easy for people to use um, and super subtle. Taking that subtlety of the flap tail to the next level. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of small cow. Are you able to kind of, all right, cool. Um, so yeah. Very cool, kind of in that loon fish pattern with a little holographic. Not mad about that. That thing's gonna get chewed. He said he was gonna include a couple little, um, I don't know what you'd call them. Basically little twitch baits, mini gliders, mini twitches, mini, I don't really know. I'm gonna have to like use them and see, see what they do. Uh, I know that he has sent me pictures of himself catching trout on them bass. He asked me if, if there's bass to be caught here in Iowa. Um, yes, unless you're fishing a tournament, in which case, no, uh, but that's okay. So um, yeah, these should be really cool. Really cool to use as like a smaller profile thing uh, up north as well for pike. Nice. Okay. Another one I was expecting. So Bucko decided to downsize and he's got a standard eight inch, standard 10 inch. He's been starting to make a standard six inch. So this is uh, the, the six inch perch pattern. Got some good holographic there. This thing should be money uh, in the Northwoods, in a lot of places in Iowa. Uh, yeah, so really excited to, to try the six inch profile. Um, Callie I know has had success uh, on six inch profiles before, six inch bobbies. So um, if I can find that clip, I'll include it here but I don't know if I still have it. We'll see. Anyway, um, <laughs> so six inch profiles can be very, very good in the right circumstances. I really wish I had this bait about two weeks ago, but that's okay. I've got it now. Um, and hopefully they'll be chewing bigger things here soon, which if that's the case, I'm not going to be mad about it. All right. The piece de resistance. We've got ourselves a 12 inch, Bucko Pike with custom weight inserts. Now, I was fortunate enough to see one of his custom weighted baits in action. Uh, Jaron um, was able to use one of those. I don't know if I'm gonna have that video out in time uh, to like include any of that stuff, but he got a ton of follows on that custom weighted perch. Uh, there's some serious hang time there if you get it weighted correctly. I know muskies in the north was love pike so just just having this profile having this pattern up there should be money i mean this thing is just a straight up work of art um so yeah really excited to use this really pumped about it i've had a lot of success on uh pike profile pike lures live pike so yeah you know just that 12 inch diving rise but just kind of a different profile to it 
Really pumped to use this. Thank you, Bucko. This thing should be money. Hopefully, um, all of you at home, I have a few more tackle talks on the way. Um, I've got a lot of videos to get through. I've been working hard on editing all of them. Um, I'm trying to put a little more time and effort into those. So it's taking a little longer on the front end, but hopefully the product on the back end is more worthwhile. Um, so I hope all of you are appreciating that. If, if you are, just make sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you like the new kind of vibe that I'm taking with that, uh, please let me know. I know that I have at least two other tackle talks on the way, uh, one related to rods, one related to lures. Um, so stay tuned for those. And as always, if you wouldn't mind, consider subscribing. I really appreciate all the support. It, it makes me feel really good knowing that a lot of you guys enjoy these tackle talk type videos. Um, also, thanks again to Bucko. Um, if you guys are interested in any of these baits and have questions, feel free to leave a comment. Um, I will direct you to the right place or you can search Bucko's Branded Baits on Facebook. Um, I don't think he has a website yet, but uh, you should be able to find his website or his Facebook page fairly easy. You can custom order any color that you want. He's really easy to work with. Dude is just a straight up artist. Anyway, uh, I'll quit rambling there. Um, I appreciate all of you watching. I'll catch you in the next one.